What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> I'm back. In life, people emulate the end result, not the process. The end result is what they see, and they emulate that. Well, Kobe scored that 61. That day, he was practicing. Practice his whole life. Are you willing to put in that sort of commitment? Are you willing to practice the whole life? Yeah, I'm sure you want to be on a jet and all that, but do you want to put in that work? That's what it takes for something great, that amount of time, that level of commitment. I've been busy, I've been working. Sorry I haven't been consistent with these uploads. But uh, we've been back. I've been trapping lately with the uh, 2011, 13, 11. Thir I don't know if this is my 11 or my 13, but it's right here. But uh, with my Duramax, I've been trapping with the LML Duramax. I've been pulling my three car Kaufman uh, trailer, doing a very, very simple run because I'm back on the road. And uh, <laughs> I've been going from DC area, DC, Maryland, Virginia area to um, uh, New Jersey, New York, Philadelphia area every night. It's about 150, 100 to 150 miles that I do a night, right? You know, one way. So round trip, 300 miles at the most. Um, and I've been getting like 300 to 400 miles a car, take three cars up, don't bring anything back, just day head, day head back home because my goal has just been to do $1,000 per day. That's all I wanna do every night. So a quick $1,000, that's good enough for me. So I don't know, keeping things very simple. Um, a lot of our drivers have matured into having their own authorities and so on and so forth. So we have been able to trim down the team a little bit. So that's been pretty cool because um, to be honest with you guys, man, having a fleet comes with a headache. You know, when you when you guys are uh, come on as carriers and then you uh, upgrade your company to being brokers and then to being dispatchers and then to be freight forwarders and then to be so and then you have company drivers, so on and so forth, man. It, it each thing takes a level of peace away from you. So uh, my goal for 2022 has been to uh, reclaim my peace. That's what it really is, man. To reclaim my peace. We did pretty good pretty good in 2021 not great not what i would have wanted to do uh 2020 we did really good on a gross aspect but again my piece just wasn't there when we did really good uh so for 2022 man i'm not really as worried about my bottom line we're gonna make money regardless uh my bills will get paid regardless so you know we're gonna save up and you know we got we got a few things in line right now that's gonna protect us financially but you know, my biggest goal right now is to have fun with this. So as this channel moves forward for the past, for the next few months, hopefully for the next year, you know, if we're blessed too, man, I just hope to keep having fun uh, with this truck and hot shot journey, man. So uh, up next is going to be us turning a Feeney, which my, I'm holding the, the trailer right now is holding the phone. So I can't really show you guys right now, but a Feeney's right here. That's the, uh, the LML Duramax. So we're going to turn a Feeney into a show truck. I got to replace the bed on this truck and get it over to ARC, let them, uh, fix the body or whatnot. Go and put a wrap on it and then put some 28s on it. Put some 28s on 37s on it. And then you guys remember I got my Cummins build that's happening right now too. And for my Cummins, we're gonna go with uh, twin compound turbos on the Cummins and put some fiery 24s on the Cummins. 24s on 37s or 26s or 26s on 37s, one to two. Probably 24s on 37s on the Cummins with some compound turbos and, uh, and finish getting that build together too, man. Just in the aspect of having fun. These things are not are not practical for hot shot. You feel me? Like these, these, these bills that we're doing, they're not practical hot shot bills, man. What I'm about to do to the trailer is not like a practical uh, hot shot trailer or like a car hauler trailer. This is me just trying to have fun. You guys remember, we still got the uh, Cadillac that we're building right now. Uh, it's over here, but I know you guys can't see it. Maybe I'll flip the camera around when I'm done talking, but I got the Cadillac right here that we're still uh, building right now too and get that ready for the spring. And then also I'm looking for probably like a third gen Camaro, looking at an IROC and uh, turn that into a race car and, and getting that done as well for this season. So uh, a lot going on, but the name of the game is fun, man. Also, in, two, uh, in addition to like trying to have more fun, we're going to get back on the road. And I know I'm doing these short runs right now, but I'm also going to start taking some longer hauls just to have fun. I'm going to go to cities that I haven't been to or cities that I have I might have been to, but I haven't explored. So like next week, we're headed to, uh, where am I going? Next week, I'm going from D.C. to Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta all the time, but you know, still, we're going from D.C. to Atlanta. We're going to spend a day in Atlanta, turn up in Atlanta. 
We're gonna go holla at Rugs over at Copper Cove. And then from Atlanta, we headed down to uh, Houston. We're gonna do 10 or 10 hours over to Houston. We got a grand opening of my man's uh, shoe store in Houston. So you guys will be able to see that grand opening of his shoe store when we get to Houston. Then we're gonna turn up in Houston. And then we're gonna uh, spin the block back to New Orleans on the way back home. We're gonna hit New Orleans. Uh, Go hit up a few spots in, in New Orleans and turn up in New Orleans for quite a bit uh, for about a day or so. And then we're going from New Orleans to Charlotte, North Carolina, and then from Charlotte, North Carolina back to home. And we're going to explore each city that we're going to. Not just go there to drop off a load and pick up a load, but go there, explore, have fun, find some good food, find some good fun. I know in Houston, I think they do Slab Sundays. Hopefully they still do that because I want to check out Slab Sundays. Um, and but yeah, man, have fun, have fun, man. Listen, we're all on this floating rock for a very limited amount of time. So I'm not just trying to be so caught up with work anymore, man. I'm trying to get out and have some fun with it. But anyways, check out some work that we've been doing, man. I've been busy, like I told you guys. So here's a couple of lows that I've been working on for the past couple weeks. Ever. I thought it was the fastest sedan. Production fastest production car right now? If you add all that up right here, like we at least got like $1.7 billion on the trail. This GLS right here is blowing the uh, Made the Stallions. This Sasha uh, gift right here, this Sasha Obama's right here. This one belongs to no other than Bruno Mars. This Bruno Mars Tesla. Crazy, right? Crazy, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Good. $1.7 billion a day. I, I'm grossing like, I don't know, in a trailer right now for what I'm going to make is going to be like, I don't know, maybe like 23,000, something like that. I'm going about uh, 75 miles. You know what I'm saying? Quick 23 bands. I'm going to put it in my pocket for this low. First stop of the day. Baby looking good. Woo. Tesla play. How much was it? They gave it to me. So you're not going to tell me how much was it? Okay, they gave it to me. I don't believe you. Why? How are they gonna give you something like that? Definitely get a wide open on 301. You can definitely get wide open on 301. <laughs> I said, let me tell you one thing. I said, you never put up inside a car if your engine is in the front of your car. Damn. 